Here's a close all there is like escorts and stuff trying to sell you things. So it's a pretty, pretty sketchy street if you ask me. But and welcome to the video today. I'm, I'm currently sitting on the swing at the Ebis Hotel as I'm waiting to check out. I'm flying to Pattaya today. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good experience and I'm absolutely buzzing for it. My new adventure awaits me so, and I'm ready for this. So let's do this. So I'm literally all packed and ready to go. I actually learned my mistake from my last national flight from uh, Bangkok to Koh Samui. Wear your most chunkiest items and wear a shirt over the top just to save space in the little suitcase. So just checked out, um, headed to the lobby. Now we're going to the car and taking our last little spin in Koh Samui and heading to the airport. Just arrived at the airport and I have just returned the car and now I've got another three hour wait before our flight to Pattaya. It's very hot, it's a very open airport. Also, I wasn't lying about the shirt on the basketball jersey combo. Save the space while packing. All checked in to Cosmo Airport and we're just going to go through the customs now and grab a coffee. Then it's uh, about a three hour wait till I board the plane. Just got to the airport and just went to one of the cafes and I saw one of the photos which is up there. If you can see, if I can zoom in, it's a coconut Americana and I was like, how can I say no? So I basically had to get myself one of them. Finished my coffee at the airport. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, coconut Americano. But yeah, this is the airport. It's very open planned. And yeah, really cool. You didn't even catch your time. And the, the grass just down there, but just before you catch the flight, so it's not really bad. I'm about to go check in now. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you on the other side. Just boarded the transportation car on our way to the aeroplane. It should be there in a couple of minutes. Just landed in Pattaya and I'm on my way to transfer to another one of the shuttles, a slightly better one. And yes, we're going to the airport now. Now we just walk through, picking up our bags now. Just waiting. We saw a little cat being picked up. Oh, cheese. Nice, nice and quick. A touching base. I managed to grab a bag. Grab a bag and uh, check through within less than two minutes. Probably just gonna check out this evening and yes probably gonna check out tomorrow and see how it goes what I'm gonna do first things first is get a gym session in so let's do this
it's tiny to be honest, it's literally just a little square room. But everything you need really. The advantages of this is, I just go and take a, take a step out here and I'm on the rooftop and I'm literally poolside, poolside rooftop uh, swim pool. So yeah, it will do, it will do. It's not a no complaints, no complaints. Incidentally, we've actually made it to the beachfront and it looks like the sunset is actually about to set. I've got my 7-Eleven mil and yeah, we're ready to watch this. It's, like, it's about 30 minutes to sunset. So the sunset in Pattaya is more or less complete, it's almost there. So now what I'm doing, I'm just walking down the strip in Pattaya, um, just by the beach quite beautiful to be fair rolling through the, the little street and checking out everything which is on the left hand side there's a few closed buildings so yeah they must have struggled a little bit during the pandemic walking street watch the sunset at the beach and I've all walked all the way to the end as you can see like uh, the sunset now and you can see the walking street sign behind me which I'm just gonna show in a second I'm just gonna bust 180 there's a walking street sign and yeah literally made it to the end and I feel like um, I feel like walking down the street I've more or less done tired to be fair I haven't even been here for, for three hours <laughs> street just south of walking street and yeah this street's a lot more crazier there's a lot more like bright lights first and lights however covid hit pretty hard and uh, there's a few buildings which are very like closed so there's next to nothing open to be fair i've just come to a more lively bit however if, if a building isn't closed all there is like escorts and stuff trying to sell you things so it's a pretty pretty sketchy street if you ask me so not even Three hours of exploring Pattaya, um, walking down Walker Street and the street or just south of it, I've realised that I need to be on an island and <laughs> I've made up my mind that I need to get out of here ASAP. Um, I feel like the beach was uh, the, probably the best part of it and you could probably do that just one little walk. So uh, yeah, so now I'm just heading back to the hotel. It's not it's not even 7, 7.30, just watch the sunset and all that. And yeah, I'm going to head back to the hotel. literally just made it back to the hotel room early and I've been meaning to cut my hair so I'm literally just gonna do that right now and just go for it so see you later game not much different but shaving my head is actually a lot harder than it actually looks but it's made a big difference and I actually don't mind it. Okay, bye. No very good. So I've uh, just buzzed my hair off and I'm gonna head to 7-Eleven for a cheese toasty and I'm gonna call it an early night. Oh. Alright so this is gonna be the end of the video um, and probably the end of my journey in Pattaya. I've got my cheese toasty and I'm just going to go straight to bed right now. I'm going to finish this toasty and just probably pass out. Um, if you like, if you've made it to the end of this video, yeah, I really appreciate it. And if you like more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll be sure to see you in the next video.